What's happening folks? Richie here from Fat Man Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at this new mod from Smock Smoke. It's the Rigel. Rigel. Who knows? R-I-G-E-L. Whatever they're calling it. Anyhow, let's dive straight down. We'll unbox it. We'll come back. We'll talk about the pros and cons and I'll tell you whether or not it's worth picking up. So this is the box that the Smoke Rigel kit comes in. On the side we've got our scratch and sniff and our hologram, and on the back we have our tech specs. Inside the box we're going to get our standard stuff, that. We're going to get a USB Type-C for 2 amp quick charging, and we're going to get a bag of spare O-rings. The two coils included in the kit are the V9 0.15 mesh coils, rated between 40 and 90 watts. The included tank is this TF-V9, but we'll come back and take a closer look at that in a bit. And of course you get the mod. I've got this green and black two-tone effect version here. Pulling back this cheap foam reveals our user manual, you get a warranty card, um, and a battery safety card. And who can forget our little snack that we've not to eat? Right, let's take a closer look at this tank. It's 50mm tall, standard 810 drip tick configuration. It's 25mm at the base and it's a standard 510 connection. It features this fiddly lift and slide top fill. I'm not a fan, mainly because it's a right pain in the arse to close. However, I will say the overall build quality is very good. It's made from stainless steel, and all the threads are smooth. This EU variant only holds 2ml of juice, but the standard does hold 4. It's worth noting that the air slots on this tank are huge. This might be the right moment to tell you that bubble glass and chimney extensions are available for this tank. And trust me, with the way these coils suck juice, you're going to need it. Now as I mentioned previously, it's a standard 810 drip tip, so you will be able to put your custom drip tips in here. And you'll want to, because this is a cheap drip tip. Moving on to the main event, the mod itself is 88mm tall, it's 28mm thick, and it's 44mm across. It's made from stainless steel, but it does have this rubber ruggedized material over the front and this fake carbon fiber inlays in the front. The 510 is a little off center. The magnets on this back panel are strong as hell. But that does mean that you're not going to suffer the dreaded battery rattle. Now the mod takes two 18650 batteries, and before anyone sees it, I know, these need rewrapped. Right, let's fire this up. Five clicks turns it on, and when you turn it on you get this colour screen. It goes all the way up to 230 watts and it does round robin. Three clicks of the fire button will lock the device from firing, and three clicks will unlock the device. Holding the fire button and the left or down key will clear the puff counter, and holding the right or up key and the fire button will change the colour of the display. Holding the up and down or left and right keys will lock the wattage, but still allow you to fire the device. Repeat the process to reverse it. And lastly, five clicks of the fire key will power the device off. Very simple. So there we have it. Let's go back up top and we'll talk about the pros and cons. Okay, dokie then. So, let's talk about this mod in more detail. Let's start off with the tank. It's a TF-V9 as plastered straight on the back. Why they did that, Lord only knows. Let's start with the cons. This. This is a con. This. What the... Right, so to fill this up, you've got to pull it up and slide it out, okay? And then to, to close it, you've got to do the do it in reverse. So you can't just shove it over. You've got to lift it up and push it over. And and it you've got to do it in a certain way. It's a bit like being on the Krypton Factor. If you didn't do it right first time, you'll be there 10 minutes later still trying. It's a right pain in the ring hole because you can't lift it fully up because then it thinks you want to open it. And if you didn't lift it enough, it catches on the other slot here. 
the other grip here on the actual top cap. So you've got to be very precise. So it's effectively you've got to pull it up and push it down. A fucking pain in the arse. But when you do get it in, it stays on. So I suppose. Yeah. Anyhow, moving on for that. The airflow on this tank. Holy shit. Look at the size of those airflows. Those air slots. I'm not being funny. I could fit a double decker bus through there and there's just no need. Listen to this. Far too much airflow for those stock coils. I mean, I it's a 0.14, but it's a small coil head. There is no way you need that amount of airflow. In fact, there's so much airflow, it dilutes the flavour, and you're not actually getting a decent vape out of it because it's all just pff, air. So, and, and I think Smoke have realised this themselves, is they've actually put a slot right in the middle there. And if you close it off to that slot, Despite the fact it looks fucking hideous on the front and the back now because you've got this great big silver bar sitting in the middle of your tank which doesn't appear to flow nicely with the rest of the aesthetics of the kit um, it does dilute the flavour, eh, sorry, it does eh, dilute the air increasing the flavour and the denseness of the vapour and it does quiet it down a bit Much, much better halfway and some people might like it full open but i'm certainly not one of them and i would i would probably i would probably say that there'd be very few people that would like that fully open the pros about the tank well other than it just looking nice with a kit i guess is that this tank despite it being the tfv9 tank takes the tfv8 baby beast coil heads not the EU versions, but the non-EU version. So that's a pro, in my opinion. Um, because then you have a whole host of coils that you can use and use from for hell vape, etc. So that's that's a pro on the tank for the coil heads. The actual coil heads that come in the kit, they're very good. I mean, it's, it's the same coil. You get two of the same coil, the 1.4 mesh coil. It vapes okay, you get good flavour out of it in terms of longevity. Your smokers start to improve on their coils, so you know you're probably still talking two weeks tops, probably. Um, I mean, I've been vaping on this one now for maybe I don't know a week, um, and it's not it's not ready to give up the ghost. So I would I'm, I would I'm confident that you will get two weeks out of that. Moving on to the mod itself, I really like this design of this mod. Um, it reminds me of the Vapor Resso Gen S. This material, in fact, wait a minute. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, there we go. It reminds me of this mod, the Vapor Resso Gen S, that came out last year um, with this rubberized material over the mod. Now, obviously, the mods are completely different. However, the material that's used is the same. In fact, I would go as much to say as I prefer this mod over this one simply down to the shape because this mod's obviously like a slab where this one has more a more rounded feel to it and it fits better in the hand that's personal preference of course plus this mod does have a a different front um that kind of breaks up that you know color if you like I, they've even used two-tone color as they did in the gen s you know but yeah so for me that's a pro um, I'm not a big fan of this fake carbon fibre on the front here. I don't know why they even included that. Could they not have just maybe made that all black? Just an all black front? Or maybe even put some green inlays in there? Or, I mean, this fake carbon fibre. <sighs> why? I mean, it's, what, are they, what are they trying to kid that they come from Lamborghini or something? I mean, why? Yeah, I just, uh, anyway. It doesn't detract, but it doesn't add to the aesthetics of this mod, in my opinion. It's good to see that it's got two amp quick charge on here. The menu system. Now, there pretty much isn't any one, to be fair. There isn't a menu system. You get wattage mode and that's it. Simple. You can move up and down the wattage. You can change the colour of the display. But other than that, that's it. There's nothing fancy in here. Um, that To me, that's a, a pro because... Anybody can use it. You just stick your, your tank on top, put your juice in, fire it, away you go. 
might be a con for some people who are wanting to put a dripper on here, if we want to use stainless steel, um, you know, mesh, etc. They want the temp control. You're not going to get that with this mod. So those people will have to look elsewhere. There is one thing that really bugs my happiness about this menu system, and it's the battery indicators. Look at this. You've seen it down, down low, but the battery indicators. So you've got these big white blocks, which is the battery. And then you, inside that, you've got the battery percentage. And the writing is so small. And I mean, I okay, I've got four eyes, but I think I need 12 to look at this because I still, I, I can hardly read it. It's so small and it's so squished into those white bars. I mean, have one of the other smock, for Christ's sake, have a larger battery percentage or just go with the bars, the battery bars. Don't have both. Because all you've got is a battery bar which doesn't actually change. So I can't look at it and quickly see what my battery level is. And then I've got to look and squint my eyes and go cockeyed and everything to see what the actual percentage is that's written inside the bar. That to me is a con. Some people maybe no bother them. Especially if they've got fan dabby dozy eyesight, unlike me. So, that's the pros and cons for me. Would I buy it? Aye, I would, I would buy this. Would I recommend you buy it? Well, as I said, if you're after a, a cheapish mod that looks good, feels good, simplistic in its, its usability, then aye, pick it up. So that's it from me. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button and hit that bell so you don't miss out on future content. If you hate the sight of my face, the dislike button works just as well. Thanks very much for tuning in. Catch you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.